What's going down, brothers and sisters of the Leaf, my tarantula family, and anyone else who may have found themselves unlucky enough to click on this video? Welcome to my channel, Torpedoes and Tarantulas. I am Jeff. Today, we have another cigar review. It is a holiday weekend. It's beautiful outside here in the state of Texas. It is Memorial Day weekend, so to everyone from the U.S., happy Memorial Day. All that being said, let's get into this cigar. Now, this is number three of the five cigar sampler that I bought. This is the Drew Estate Undercrown. It's a beautiful 7x48 Churchill, but nice, dark, dark chocolate wrapper, almost black. That nice oily sheen. One small vein right there, invisible seams. Uh, looks like a triple cap. This is a beautiful cigar. Now, here's the story behind the Drew Estate Undercrown. Uh, many years ago, uh, most most people who know Drew Estate cigars know that the Liga Pravadas are, were and are their top selling line. Many years ago, they had trouble with the rollers smoking too many of the Liga Pravadas. And they had to tell the rollers, hey, slow it down. We can't keep up with demand with you guys smoking all of these. So basically to solve that problem, they kind of made their own cigar. They used a lot of the same tobaccos from the Liga Pravada number no. 9 and the T52, but they used different vintages and uh, different primings, and then they slapped a Mexico, Mexico San Andres wrapper on top of it, and um, word got out about how good they were, and they started producing them to the public, and I got to say, this is a pretty good cigar. I've already had these in like a Robusto or a Toro or something like that years ago. I probably did a review on them, but I don't remember it, so we're going to start all over tonight. So let me get on the profile of this thing. Like I said, this is a Churchill. This is a 7x48 ring gauge. The wrapper is a Mexican San Andres. The uh, binder is a T52 Connecticut River Cut Valley Stalk Cut and Cured Habano. And the fillers are Select Brazilian Matafina and Nicaraguan Cuban Seed. So there you go. Now let's get into what this thing smells like. Really nice, really nice aromas on the wrapper there. A lot of earthy, um, there's some earth, some chocolatiness, and kind of a little of a, a, a floral note there. It's real light, but noticeable. And on my foot, it's a lot more of that uh, earthy, chocolatey. There's some woody notes going on there, too. Really nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and toast this thing and get it lit up, and then we'll get into it. I know I've gotten behind on my cigar reviews, but I've been quite busy working. Been doing a lot of traveling out of town, and when I get home, all I want to do is rest. And a lot of times, I just don't feel like doing a cigar review. But holiday weekend, I've had several days off. I couldn't pass up this opportunity to share this wonderful cigar with you guys. So here we go. Now, you may notice behind the cloud of smoke there that I was using my butane lighter. That's because I initially planned to do this video outside, but the sound quality wasn't that great, so I brought my butane out here because it's windy outside. You also notice that I never put my cigar in the flame itself. You don't want to do that if you're using a butane lighter. It's going to overheat your cigar. You've heard me say it before about overheating the cherry. You don't want to do that. It changes the chemical structure of the tobaccos and makes everything just bitter and just gross. If you if you were a cigarette smoker and you're puffing on one really fast and you hot box it, that cigarette tastes a lot different. It's the same thing with a cigar. So I'll shut up, take a drag, and tell you what we've got. Right away, perfect draw. Very nice and smooth. Just a deep earthiness. Really nice smoke output so far, too. Just a really nice, deep earthiness and a black pepper that's coming in. Not so much the tingle as the flavor, although the tingle is starting to come up on the finish, but it's, I mean, it's hardly noticeable. Okay, so I'm going to warm this bugger up a little bit, get into it a little ways, and then tell you what we've got. All right, so I am back with this Drew Estate Undercrown Maduro. Right off the bat, guys, full flavored stick, body um, at most a medium right now, mild strength, if any at all, uh, and just lots of flavor 
as you would expect uh, from Drew State. And um, if this is kind of the little brother of the League of Bravado, then you knew it was going to be flavorful. So here's what I've got on flavors. Those initial, that initial um, earthiness that I described and the black pepper are still there. The coffee has kind of taken over everything from the draw on through. It's there. It's stronger at the draw, and then it just kind of fades out as these other flavors come in. Still, like I said, that earthiness and the black pepper, not much tingle. It kind of comes and goes here and there. Uh, and then there's a bit of a sweetness that kind of comes in right after the draw on that coffee. That's It's just a generic sweetness. It's not like an artificial flavor of sweetness or anything, just a generic sweetness. It's nothing specific like sugar or honey or caramel or anything like that or, or you know, fruity, whatever sweet. It's just one of those things that hits that particular area of your palate. So it all mixes really nice with the black pepper and the earthiness that's there. But a lot of coffee and I would say even cocoa is what's going on right now with this stick. So it's what you would expect by how the stick looks, but you can never go by how a stick looks as to how it tastes, the body strength or anything like that. So I'm gonna get into this thing a little bit further and see if we've got any changes. By the way, I would be remiss if I did not mention the ash in my cigar review video. Any of you who know my reviews know I like a beautiful ash. And look at that right there. That burn, that ash is perfect. I just had to show that off. Anyways, I'll get back to you. Alright, y'all. So I just dropped the second ash on this Drew Estate Undercrown Maduro. The ash holds on about an inch at a time. Comes off nice and clean. Burns still beautiful and razor sharp. Construction, as you can see, is gorgeous. Draw is still effortless. Um, and just the whole experience of this cigar is really nice. Uh, a lot of the same flavors except for there's one extra component that's kind of come in. There's this leather that's kind of taken over, and then the coffee takes second place, and then the, the, the little bit of woodiness and the pepper and everything kind of comes in, you know, last there, and it's a really nice mix of um, flavors. Uh, I'm getting this on the draw. I'm getting a lot of leather and coffee, but there's this behind the scenes, like, you know, like straw, the sweetness of a piece of straw if you're chewing on it. It's that kind of thing that comes in there, it's one of those things that's so light, it skips right past the tongue and hits you in the back of the palate. And it's really light, but it kind of really helps to um, dilute the darker flavors, if you will. Very flavorful, very rich cigar. I'm enjoying it so far. Having said that, let me get real with you all for a second. Okay, so everybody, all of my viewers and subscribers from North America, happy Memorial Day. And please do not forget why we have a three-day weekend for the rest of my viewers. Europe, UK, Canada, if you're not aware of it, Memorial Day is an American, North American holiday where we take time out of our busy schedules to, at the last weekend of um, May, to remember all of the men and women of the armed forces who paid the ultimate sacrifice and did not come home to their families so that we could come home to our families day in, day out, night in, and night out. And that's what Memorial Day is all about. At the end of September... We have Veterans Day, which we remember everyone who has served, living or dead. But for this holiday in May, it is all of those who are no longer with us, all the fallen soldiers. And it's also unofficially kind of the uh, summer kickoff, if you will, here in North America. So it's getting ready to be hot and miserable for some of us. Summer started two weeks ago if you live in the southern United States. But all joking aside, seriously, guys, remember all of those who paid that ultimate price so that you could hang out with your family this weekend and have a barbecue. I'm going to get into this thing a little bit further, and then I'll let you know what I've got here at the end. So here I am creeping up on the band of this Drew Estate Undercrown Maduro. I just wanted to say one thing about this cigar. It is very enjoyable. The flavors are all the same, that core coffee and leather, uh, but everything's just gotten deeper and darker and stronger. Uh, Body-wise, it's at a medium it's a full flavored cigar, very little strength to speak of whatsoever, but let me talk about the flavor and kind of the body for a second. It is like this perfect symphony, if you will, where all of these flavors, there's a lot going on, all these flavors hit different parts of the palate, and then they just meld together into this beautiful masterpiece that is this cigar. Very enjoyable. I've got a little ways to go, and then we're going to close this thing out, but I just wanted to say that, guys. All right, so here I am creeping up on the final third 
of this Drew Estate under Crown Maduro. And again, I can't say enough positive things about this cigar. Just totally enjoyable throughout. One thing I forgot to mention in the last update, right? If you've ever seen Star Wars, you've heard the Force is strong with this one. Well, this cigar, the flavor, the finish is long with this one. Let me elaborate on that. I set this guy down much earlier, went into the house to answer the call of nature, then I went to the refrigerator and refreshed my cold beverage, came back out here, total time of about a minute and a half, and I still had that flavor all over my palate. It had not faded whatsoever. I picked this guy up, excuse me, and of course, it just goes right back where we left off, which has been the case throughout. You can see beautiful burn, beautiful construction, plumes of smoke. The, uh, the aromas that come off of this thing are pleasant. That is kind of from a cigar smoker's um, point of view. I would think that someone that does not smoke cigars or maybe someone who's not smoking a cigar at the time that smelled this thing, it might cause them to turn their head like a bloodhound. Like, what's that smell? That smells good. Somebody's smoking a good cigar. That's this guy right here. Hey, I have enjoyed this thing all the way throughout. Like I said, all of the flavors that I were, was talking about is what we expect from this color of a wrapper. So in this case, uh, this thing kind of lived up to its appearance, not strength wise. No strength really whatsoever, unless you're just a pansy, but we won't go there. Full flavored, medium bodied at the most, but I'm telling you guys, this is a flavor bomb. It's not complex, it doesn't change a whole lot, but the flavors are always there. Again, beautiful, effortless straw. Wonderful, wonderful cigar. You owe it to yourselves to get one of these. And I'm going to finish with this. Again, seriously, like I said, everyone out there, Somebody around this world, there's somebody in their past who died for you to enjoy the freedoms that you have. So please take time to remember that. Um, for the people from the U.S., it's Memorial Day, guys. It's not just a three-day weekend. It's not an excuse to invite a bunch of people over your house, barbecue, and get in a drunken fight and get the cops called at 2.23 a.m. It's about remembering the people who died so that you could do those things. So don't forget that. Hey guys, I'm going to finish this cigar off because it's just freaking amazing. I'm probably going to burn my fingers with it. Hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it educated you just a little bit. Hey, if you haven't ever subscribed to my channel, please do that. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up and maybe a comment if you want to. Share these videos with your friends. And guys, let's take care of each other and ourselves. And don't forget, have a great day or a great night. Take care. God bless.